Hey guys, my name's Ollie Bo, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make money in ESO. Now this method doesn't require any sort of gambling on loot drops, farming or hoping for a rare item to drop. What we're going to be doing is reliable, very effective, um, but is a little bit time consuming. So how do you make lots of gold reliably in ESO? And the answer is RITS. Uh, in this video we'll walk through how to get started and some important tips to remember if you want to do them fast and efficiently. Let's get started. Okay, so you want to open up your minion and we're going to look for an add-on called Dolgabon's Lazy Rit Crafter. There we go, there it is. So you click on that and in the top right will be a little download link. I've already downloaded it, so it's, it's grayed out for me. And then the next one you're going to want is Craft Store. That's going to help you look uh, at all the research you've done on all your characters. Just makes life a lot easier. And the final one for your master writs is going to be um, it's called, yeah, Ritworthy. Here we go. So this is going to help you do your master writs in a much more time efficient manner. Right, so this is where I do my writs. I do them in Desham because um, not only are the crafting stations pretty close together, um, you've also got all the good guild traders in case you run out of any of your ingredients. So this is the circuit. I do my blacksmithing, then I do my um, clothing. So here you go, here's Dolgabon's Lazy Rick Creator in, in action. Let's move on to the woodworking. So you get this little pop-up here when you enter a crafting station and you just click craft and it does it all for you rather than having to go into the actual create menu. So hopefully this should save a lot of time if you've been doing it manually before. There we go, we pick up our uh, enchanting and provisioning and alchemy writs. Go in here, do the enchanting one. I'm going to do the jewellery crafting one. Um, and if you notice your inventory is getting a bit full, like when you come and do them you can just decon any intricate or whatever that you might have. Okay, then once you've done all those, what you're going to need is a banker. Um, and you're going to put your alchemy and provisioning materials in the bank so that they're ready to pull out. Um, so if you have a look here, see I've got all my all the food ones that we would need and all the drink ones that we'll need as well as all the poisons and potions that we might need. Because um, if you put them in your bank that means you can use them across all your characters and all you have to do is you know, pick it up. And then we go and deliver. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see, what's that? That's 5k gold. And then, the best part is, if you look on the right, hopefully, if we're lucky, we might get a gold material. Okay, we've got two surveys there in, in the chat. Did we get any gold materials? Maybe not today. Never mind. Um, and then you want to probably bank your surveys. Maybe you want to bank your intricates, especially if you're still leveling up crafting on your uh, other characters. Another good thing to keep in mind is when you're doing crafting writs, you want to make sure you've got 10 in your metalworking and solvent proficiency. I think it's usually the top one, and that's going to allow you to do the uh, enchanting, it'll be potency improvement. But you want to be able to do the top, um, the top level of writs, because then that's going to get you the most reward. Right, so now that we've done that, uh, let me show you a different character, um, and we can do a different zone. Okay, so this is the probably the second best place to do writs, but the benefit of this place is. Show you where we are. We're in Vivek City in uh, Vardenfell. Um, the benefit of this place is if you don't have your own banker, um, there is a bank that's pretty much on the route, so you don't have to worry about having your own banker. 
Um, the guild traders aren't too bad, but they're a little bit out of the way. I don't know, they're just sort of down here. Um, God, can I even remember where all the crafting stations are? Here you go again, see? No. Everything is done for you. All you need to do is push a button. Um, to be honest, I'm usually like watching Netflix and stuff. I was doing these crafting bits, so it's kind of mind numbing, but um, it's quite easy to do as well. Gets you lots of gold. Enchanting. I think the jewelry crafting's right next to it. Yep. And then, so if you don't have your own banker, we have a little bank here we can go to. Go get all my ingredients. Do a roll dodge, get a little speedy boof, and then we hand in. Let's see, did we get lucky? Did we get any gold materials this time? Mm, provisioning writ. Well, looks like we're unlucky today. Anyway, let's put our. Oh, there we go, tempering alloy. Alright. So let's put our stuff in the bank. Let's put the provisioning writ in. Let's check if I've got any more master writs or no. Okay. Right. Well, that's finished then. So let's move on to the next thing. Once you've finished doing all your writs on all your characters, the next step is to deal with those master writs. So you're going to go into your bank and you pick up all the master writs that you want to do. Um, I usually leave the enchanting ones in there because they're quite good to level up characters because you get a lot of uh, lot of XP for doing master writs. So you know, if you've got stuff to level up, skills, you can you know, on your character make sure you've got aspect improvement and then you can you know level up characters that way. Right, so once you've got all your writs in your inventory, what you need to do is you need to find someone that has a guild house with all of the crafting stations. Usually um, trade guilds are going to have one, but my favourite one, uh, at least on the EU server, is a little guy called Elias. So let's go to his house. And then once you're in the house, what you want to do is make sure you've got a hotkey set up for your Ritworthy. Let's see where it is. Ritworthy. There you go. I've put. I've got mine on number decimal. So I hit that, and then you see all of your writs, your master writs in your inventory. Um, I would say anything that costs more than 500 gold per voucher to do is not worth doing. Um, so it gets this statistic from Master Merchant, so you probably want to have Master Merchant installed as well. Um, and the ones in red are going to be the ones that are probably not worth doing, so let's try and hunt for that. Medium, Legendary, so it's going to be a yellow one. Yeah, that. Which one am I looking at? Song of the May. There we go, that one. Let's just delete that. Destroy Shackle Breaker with Huntsman. That one. Let's destroy that. What else did we have? And. Okay, so it seems that True Guacks are expensive enough that it's not worth doing these Master Rits, and it's better off just selling, selling them. One, two, three. Okay, all of them. All of them are getting rid of. Once you've done that, you click the little refresh button and here we go. All of them are white, so that means they're all worth doing. Let's enqueue them all. Sort by station. Got alchemy first. So let's go to the alchemy station. That's not there we go. Alchemy station. And it's gonna craft them all for us. So we just sit here and wait. Uh, you want to make sure you've got plenty of inventory space as well, otherwise you will notice it gets full up pretty quick. Alchemy, provisioning. 
So a lot of these guild houses, they'll have them in alphabetical order. Um, it's, it's the easiest way to do it. And then that, that syncs up quite well with Ritworthy because you can sort this by alphabetical as well. Um, quite often they have like training dummies as well and bankers, all sorts of things. So you know, it's a good place to get stuff done. Usually they're not that pretty. Um, Elias's one's pretty pretty. But I don't know, a lot of the trading guild ones, they, <laughs> they don't seem to put much effort into them looking nice. Right, so let's start with A, Adept Rider. It takes quite a long time. Um, you want to make sure you've got all the style materials as well as the like raw materials you need as well. Alessia's wood. If you notice that you don't have one of the style materials, what you can do is click this little checkbox here and that will use one of your mimic stones. Um, you quite often get mimic stones during like events, so you might have some left over and you're probably not going to use them, especially with um, like the outfit system now. No one really crafts much of this stuff other than for master it's. So you may as well just, just use them. Anyway, let's skip to the end. <laughs> okay, just the last few ones to do. We've got Vampire's Kiss. Oh, we're doing good for inventory space as well. W. Way of the arena. And once you've completed all your master it's, then we're going to go and teleport to uh, Deshaun. So let's check if anyone's in Deshaun. Here we go. Oh, fuck. There we go. Now we're in Deshaun. All we need to do is open up our writs and start accepting them. We usually try and take one of each. And then you can hand them all in at the same time. And that's basically it. Um, you notice once you hand them in, the reward you get is reward vouchers, and you're going to spend those at these merchants. Um, and then the things that you buy with the vouchers, you're going to sell on the guild store. Um, let's see what he has. It's difficult to say what sells well. It kind of depends on the on the time, but. Something like Ebony Style sells quite well, let's see, 151. So you can get about, you know, 500 gold per voucher on that. Ethereal Dust isn't too bad as well, 25k. So they're all about 500 gold per voucher. Which is why earlier on we only picked Ritz that had uh, 500 gold per voucher or, or cheaper. And that's it. So hope you've enjoyed watching uh, remember to like and subscribe and also check me out on uh, twitch i should be streaming at least three times a week um i'll be raiding with pathfinders late night dungeoneers and maybe i'll try and do some uh, other content as well so make sure you've liked and subscribed and i'll see you later thank you for watching bye, -bye.